hello my beautiful people welcome to today's video welcome to oju or lakwe space wow sometimes i just when people call me and they want to pronounce my name they find it a bit difficult to pronounce the name it's not hard now just say oju or lakwe so you just join it together like that and you are welcome to oju or lakwe space if you are my returning subscribers, I say a very big thank you. Thank you for your love. Thank you for supporting this channel. Thank you for all your time. Thank you for your prayer. Thank you for every way you've been supporting this video. I say may the look good God bless you. And if you are watching me for the very first time, my name is Rimei Oju or Lakme Space. I live in Ibadan or your state in Nigeria. I make content on market vlog exporting show you my exports business and i also make sure i give you some indigenous food so that it will not be forgotten you will remember that oh those years those past years we eat this they cook this and it's a lot of them has lots of health benefits that we might not be taking advantage of this so that's why i try to dig in make research on old foods that our great great grandmother used to cook and bring it out so that we still have it yeah that's what we do in this wonderful channel once again i say welcome to today's video in today's video like it's all about exports have you been dreaming of starting your export business or you know you will know oh how am i going to go over how do i start where do i start from what do i do some people just for the fact that they just hear the word export business they just feel like oh i really want to be part of this business yes as a man you can be part of this business as a woman you can be part of this business it's a business that brings cool cash to your bank account and bring it to your purse and you spend to enjoy but if you're watching me, you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? You can see that subscribe. They wrote it subscribe. Just click on that subscribe button. Let me just give you one minute to do that. Wow. Yes, I know you've subscribed. Thank you so much for subscribing. And clicking, there's a bell there that tells you what the bell's for is for you to be notified every time Ojolakwe upload a new video. Oh, no. Export business is about getting your goods from your country and exports that is you send it outside your country. And when you have to look at export business in Nigeria, is a very creative business which I've been doing for some time now and I've enjoyed every bit of export business. So export business, you don't need to go further to give dictionary explanation of what is export business is just getting your goods getting things available in your country and sending it outside your country for those people that need that particular thing then let's now move on to the next thing we now look at it i do i start export business starting export business is the number one key that i've given a lot of people had I had to say, okay, I want to start this business. Where do I start from? What do I do? Who should I meet? Who should I talk to? Is there anybody even in this country that I can call upon to tell that, look, this is a particular business I wish to start? Now, getting your export business, getting those things out of the country, you have to firstly think about what are those things available around you that you want to send outside the country. You can't just wake up in the morning and the next thing you just want to say, I want to start export business. And when they ask you what do you want to export, you're not telling me. Um, or, um, and the next is, the next reply you gave was, I'm space. What can I even export? I'm like, wow, they definitely you, you are not even ready for export business. Because if you are ready for export business, you have to have at the back of your mind what you actually want to send outside the country. And a lot of people just want to like, oh, for the fact that this woman is doing this particular thing on her channel. I can also do the same. Yes, everybody can do it. Both men and women. You can do export business. 
But mind you, what are those things? What do you want to send outside the country? It's very, very important. You have to know your niche. You have to know what you have that is really available around you that you really want to send. I'll consider my export business. I'll give you the secret that I live right in Ibadan. And in Ibadan, we have lots of food stuffs. And they are relatively very cheap. Food stuffs in Ibadan is so cheap. So I looked around and I said, okay, wow. Can I showcase this outside the wall? Just not just to for export business, even for those in the country, in my own country, that okay, we have foodstuffs in Ibadan that is so cheap and it's so much. You can take advantage of it and use that as a business. So you, that's why I went into export business. And when you are talking about getting raw goods to export outside the country, you have to make sure that it's those things that is available in your vicinity, in your area. You can't just tell me, okay, you live in an area that um, you don't have fish, you don't have crayfish, and you want to start exporting fish, which means you're going to spend extra amounts to get fish outside your state. And getting your fish outside your state, in Nigeria, you pay for webi. That is transport. You pay for the transport to get, get the fish from wherever you're getting it from, from your other state, down to where you have. By the time you're getting this fish in your state, tell me the price will have increased. And mind you, those that want to buy anything from you, they will have maybe probably make some findings about some ask for price from other vendor. So if they realize that your price is on the high side, they won't come back. They'll just say, I will get back to you. And that is Nigeria language. Once they want to pull you down, once they don't want to buy, instead of them to say, sorry, I don't like what you're, or I'm not buying again, or your price is on the high side, the next thing just says, is, I will get back to you. And you won't hear them again. So you have to make sure that whatever you want to export out of Nigeria, out of this country, you have to be something that is readily available in your state. In your state, not outside your state. That gives you advantage. That gives you edge over that particular product, over that particular my raw foodstuffs or whatever you want to send outside. Like now, I can't come to you and tell you, oh, I want to start export of coconuts. I live in Ibadan. We don't have coconut in Ibadan. The ones we have is for, I think, um, not that we don't have coconut at all, but not as much as the ones in Badagri. So if somebody is contacting me to that I want to buy coconut, I will have to get in touch with somebody in Badagri to ask for the price of coconut from Badagri. Now, by the time I'm asking for the price, I will have to add the transport, that is way be then I will add my profit. Now, if that same person contacts somebody in Badagri, the person will realize that the price, is, the price of the coconut is cheaper than the one I'm giving. So the person won't, come, won't want to come back to me to say, okay, I want to buy. So you have to make sure that you make do with the raw material you have around you. A lot of people can say now that, oh, we don't have anything around me. It's a lie. Every state in Nigeria, I mean it, every state has a peculiar product or crop or food that is mostly produced in that state. Maybe we should look at things that are in your area that you can take advantage of. To, it's okay, this is what I want to export. I beg, I want everybody to cash out this year. Everybody to cash out. And you know, when you're talking about exports, you should know that you'll be dealing in current ad currency that's you'll be doing dealing with foreign currency is that from dollar to the euro or canadian dollar so you see that um, it has profit it has a lot of profit so that brings us to is export business profitable yes it's very very profitable i mean it i'm not joking i'm not i'm not i'm not here to deceive you it's profitable if you start a sport business, you make money. You make great money. That's why I made a video of um, talking about a sport business that you can take advantage of. In fact, it's a master class. Full details on how you can start, how you can source, then how you can send goods, what you need to do, how you need to do it. So you can just write in my comment section if you are interested in this master class. Just write in the comment section. I will get to you. I will send you the link. 
it's a link that when you sit down to wash it, your children, children, you even this, 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 this is a business that you are going to transfer to your children, children, and say, look, this is really a productive business, and you want, I want you to go into this particular business. I said a lot of things, which time will not permit me here to break down all details of all those things that it, I will explain in the master class. But you know, since it's a master class, I have all the time. It's a very long video that I took my time to explain in details what you need to do, how you need to go about this business. What I'm, a lot of people ask me, I'm going to start this business. Everything, every details, you have it in this master class. Every details you need. And it's a master class that even if, when, once you get involved in this master class, I'm going to give you a mentorship training. That I'm going to be your mentor and put you through every step you need to take to get to your desired level of export business. And you won't just stop at export business. You can also include imports. We have export, we have import. Everything takes the same route. Everything, everything takes, everything has its own way. What you need to do, how you need to go about it in this master class. And so let's outside write down. If you are outside my state or if you are outside Lagos state, this is a business you can do. A lot of people will come here and tell me, oh, I'm not in Lagos. I cannot be involved in this business. You can be involved in this business. If you are not in Lagos, there is nothing you cannot do outside your, outside Lagos. If you are, for example, if you are in Joss, you can be involved in export business. If, wherever you are, just make sure that you have that particular thing. You have that good that you, you can source for in your area that can be export. So that it, it will come to a time people will ask you and you say, I'm sorry, I don't have. Oh, sorry, we don't have such thing in this area. And it will put a lot of people off. Then another thing I want to share now ex from export business, you can as well start selling food item to those in this country. It's a business you can also start. All you just need is your smartphone. Make sure you have your smartphones, you have the raw products in your area that you want to sell. Just snap it on your phone, post it on your WhatsApp, on your Facebook or your Instagram page, um, people, even people in Nigeria will like, okay, where is your location? I want to buy this. So if you're not even getting for exports, you will get within the country. Be taken as side also. Yes. Export business can be taken as a side also. Once you are fully rooted, you, if you're making your cool cash, you can decide to like, okay, drop the other job and focus on your export business. So export business is a business that you can rely on completely fully in every aspect you can rely on export business export business i'll tell you is a very very good one it's a very very good one all you just need you need a mentor to put you through all steps that you need to take once you get that mentor i'm telling you you'll keep on growing it's, it's not it's a business that um, you don't just jump in because sometimes you might jump into it and you might feel you might drown in, in the export business but once you have a mentor you have someone to put you through to climb that ladder of success i think it's a very very good one so you can join me in my master class you can write in the comment section if you are interested in the master class you want it master class is there for you so thank you so much for watching today's video if you love this video don't forget to subscribe like and share say thank you so much for watching today's video don't forget to subscribe like and share till i see you in my next video this is ojalakwe space saying bye